What's up, y'all? This is Ty, and I am back with another fitness journey. Shout outs to Francesca Richardson and Tia Devine. I hope y'all are watching this. I hope y'all leave some comments because y'all supposed to be my accountability partners out here. So here I am. I'm out on the track again. I am doing 10 laps. This is my what do we call this? The evening spin down. I'm at a different location, as you see. Y'all see Yankee Stadium behind me. I'm at, I think this is called a Yancey track and field. I'm having a good time. It's great out here. I'm supposed to be doing 10 laps. I don't have Lady V with me today, so I'm on my own. Running on this track. Oh, and shout outs to June BLC, because I was speaking to June earlier. June, I'm here getting it done, putting in the work. So I'm going to do 10 laps on this track. I don't have Lady V out here to record me running up and down. But let me tell y'all what I did yesterday. Y'all going to be proud of me. So yesterday, right, I participated in this Afrobeats burnout, which was in the same location. And man, they wore us out. Afrobeats is this up-tempo, total body workout, fitness, cardio thingamajingy. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm going to put the link below. Um, I do these classes virtually. Uh, Hurricane G, Hurricane Fitness, and Scott Bernhardt. I'll put their links below. You can check them on Instagram, follow them, and you can do their virtual classes. But yesterday, they had a special outdoor class that was for a good charity. I think it um, the charity benefited kids in Ghana, something like that. So it was great. So they had us out here. When I tell you, it was intense. It was an intense workout, and I'm proud of myself. They had a brother out here for like two hours just doing all types of dance moves and exercise moves and just going crazy. So listen, ain't nothing to it but to do it. That's all it is. And I, sometimes I pinch myself because I'm saying this is me out here doing all of this. I'm really surprised by that because I'm one that's usually laying around and, you know, <laughs> eating what? Cheese doodles and watching TV or eat candy. But I had to change my lifestyle and change my habits and get myself in shape. And I'm seeing a difference. I am seeing a difference. And I'm making sure that I am being committed to this whole thing. I want to show you the track and let you see the vibe. It's a real cool vibe out here. You know, it is really exciting out here. There's people out here doing all types of different exercises, people playing soccer and doing all types of different stuff. It is inspiring me so that I could be like pow, 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 bang, bang. I'm still working on the pow, pow, bang, bang. So you know what? I'm going to say maybe around, let's say next year sometime, I'm going to be ripped up right. I'm going to be right. I'm going to have all the tight muscle shit. No. <laughs> no, but seriously. I'm really proud of myself because I've been sticking to it. You know, sometimes we tell ourselves that we can't do something, we get a little lazy, we put it in our head. But if you just start, just start. You don't have to go hard body the first time you do it. Get out, do what you wanna do, try it maybe. If you wanna do, let's say you're trying to do push-ups, you don't like doing push-ups. Nobody said you gotta come out here and do 100 push-ups on your first try. You can do two, do five and then gradually build up. See, like right now, I'm walking slowly right now. I'm not flying around this thing like the Flash because my legs hurt from yesterday's Afrobeats burnout. That class was intense. It was crazy, it was fun. Um, I'm glad I did it. But yeah, just set your mind to it and I'm sure you can do it. That rhymes, right? Set your mind to it, I'm sure you can do it. So yeah, we gotta hold each other accountable. We gotta get out here and do it. I looked in the mirror the other day and I saw, you know, I saw a little, you know, my stomach ain't where I want it to be, but I saw a little lines in there, you know, I see the abs trying to form and whatnot, and I see my leg, oh, another funny thing, y'all, so I had to try on, you know, since this uh, pandemic and I'm working from home, I don't really put on a lot of like jeans or pants, I usually wear sweatpants or shorts, so I had to go into the office the other day, so I had to wear pants. When I tell you I put them pants on, they were so tight around the ankle. I was like, damn, who pants are these? They were so tight, so uncomfortable. And what I realized, I said, dad, what's going on? My legs got bigger from my leg exercise and my calves got bigger, muscular. So I'm getting there. So I'm telling y'all, stick with it. Don't give up. Even you go gradual, gradually, just stick with it. That's all I'm saying. Just stick with it. Well, 
well, folks, I cannot believe that I am out here after yesterday's intense, crazy workout. But I did it again. I'm back out here again today. I did it, y'all. I did my 10 laps, and I'm about to get on up out of here. I mean, it was... It was fun. I can't believe I did it because my legs were on fire yesterday. But someone told me to get up and come back out here again today. It just Today, though, is more easy because I'm just doing laps. I'm not, you know, busting myself up like that, but I'm doing laps. But I'm proud of myself because I'm really out here, out here doing it. And that's cool. And I was in secret competition with this dude that's been flying around this track. He's been acting like he Usain Bolt or somebody. Been pissing me off. I'm gonna get them next time. I can't get them today because my legs are on fire, on fire. So I can't, I can't get them today. But I feel good. I'm proud of myself that I, I stuck to it. You know what I'm saying? That I'm out here because I'm, I'm doing it, doing it. So maybe one of these videos when I get brave enough, I'll show my chest. You know, and show some. Um, well, not yet. We ain't ready for that yet. Y'all ain't ready for that. We ain't in that great shape. But I want to start showing the progress that's being made. But we ain't get there yet. Right now, there's still a little Pillsbury Doughboy-ish, you know, right here in the middle. Little skinny boy up here and Pillsbury Doughboy down here. So, <laughs> so when it gets all proportion, it gets right, then I can, you know, do that, like, reveal or whatever. So, who knows? I just got to keep it up. I got to stick with my meal plans and all that and get things going. So, that's what I got to do. Um, so I want y'all to do me a favor, please, if you got suggestions and comments, positive comments, by the way, leave them down below in the comment section. Tell me, share your shit fitness journey with me, you know, tell me what you've been out there doing. Encourage your brother. Let's encourage each other. Let's lift each other up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's it. So that's it for now. I thank you for watching this video. Tia, Francesca, y'all better leave some comments because y'all are the ones who told me y'all want to see these fitness journey videos. So leave some comments down below. Shout outs to everyone else. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, please comment, share, subscribe, do all those good things. And I will most definitely see you in the next video.